Credo Wells and today we are reviewing the fire station and we are going to go straight onto the looks of it. It looks pretty cool. If you go from the right of it up to the satellite dish, it has a little blue thing. So does these. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, like sound coming out of them or something. I'm not sure. And um, it has some patterns on the fire ring that you have, or fire pole, whatever you want to call it. They have number two here, number one, garage number one, garage number two. They have white right there, right from the bottom, and then all the way to the top is blue. They have some lights to support it when it's on night. It has its megaphones on the um, sides of them, so the people know when they're going to, um, like, going to put out a fire. We have a hot dog man right here with a hot dog cart. It's on fire, you can see. It has... One second. It has two sausages and a chicken. It's pretty cool. Tomato, tomato, ketchup, and mustard. We also have on the inside. We have on the inside on the um, white dollar garage. We have some pretty cool lookings on the car. It says GM60110. Um, I don't know why it's about that. It, on the inside of the other garage, we have the fire um, station and um, truck, fire truck or whatever. And um, a H on the back of it, it has H A60110. And a little stripy pattern, which I quite like on that sticker. Now, let's go on to the features on the front. Not much, I would say, on the front. It has a little spinning thing on the front. I refer to it as a spinning pot or death, but I don't know if that's the right name for them. It spins. And you can actually put a minifig inside it. And, um, come on, get in there. You can spin it so it's on the other side. It's pretty cool, not much on the front of the features though. It has the garage door, you can open it by the little flap there. And close it by the little flap. The car, which is actually pretty small, I think, for bag number one. Or this is a car and a head mask, I think. I don't know. And it also has inside it, if you look, a little gas mask or something, if you can't see it there. there. It has some doors that can open and close. That's really it for the police car though, I mean fire car, you get mixed up when you say police and fire, I don't know why. Um, when you open the door for the upper garage, there is a fire truck that you can see. There's a fire and hose which has some water, a, well not attached to it but next to it. I don't know why we are going to put that in there because in real life it would just when you open it just soak all out and also you can lift it it has some extensions which you can lift and more extensions here it's taller than me well almost yep yeah, almost taller when I'm sitting down, it's even more close, taller than me. I don't know why. 
But when it's on the table, it definitely is taller than me. Sometimes you have issues with it when you try to put it up. If you do it wrong, it snaps, which is pretty harming. It has some grips here where you can go down. Um, it's pretty hard. You bend it and then there uh, some grips for it to stay on the ground. Let's do all of them for a second. And yes, like I mean that, that happens. We're just going to leave that. If you can't see on the other side, it's just some printing and models. One's got nothing and the other one's got nothing. You can put it down like I, um, like you would suppose. It comes with some pretty nice minifigs, I would say, and a dog. Definitely a dog. Um, the dog looks all spotty because it's a spotty dog. <laughs> you can spot it because it's spotty. Get it? Spotty dog. <laughs> it has a hot dog man that comes with it. He's got a little tie on there and some buttons, a green hat, one facial expression, none on the others. Some printing on the back, just a little red there. And his pants, normal, normal pants. Just grey, normal pants. The headmaster of the fire station. He, it, he has a golden hat, which looks actually pretty cool. Some badges on his bell and his well i don't know pocket i don't know it has some stripes on him some stripes on the top as well um yellow and red you also can see a walkie talkie on the back and a bell some striping on him and striping there as well for the fire um lady you have a some sort of mask and a hat if you're wondering how you build it it's just a normal mask and then put it into the little air tanks and put the hat on backwards that's all for her and i believe she has two facial expressions oh no just one one facial expression she has a little gauge on her and a, some sort of belt buckle, I'm not sure. They also have like a little clip on there. On the back, you can't really see the printing. And I suppose it's the same. It's probably because their art tanks are blocking it. You have the helicopter driver. Did something just fall? I don't know. Um, he has a cup and um, <laughs> he's a helicopter guy he has a cup well you don't actually need to put the cup there it goes on the inside that i'll show in a minute and um, the helicopter you can put him in there which is pretty normal i guess for Lego, well, except for Batman sets, so sometimes they don't have it. Well, I'm not talking about that today. And um, we have the little spinny thing on all helicopters, and that on all helicopters. Has a little engine on the top, some flashing blue lights. Well, not actually flashing, you would imagine that. I guess these would hold water for the cannon here. And on the back, it's got a little hatch. Yeah, and it's got water in, like you would expect. You have to balance it perfectly, because if you balance it too far back, it smashes. One second. Okay, here it is. Yeah, and it's a pretty pain to get that back on. So I believe that's it for the mini fridge. So let me just check around. Okay, there's um, a fire boy well man he has some sweat dripping off him one facial expression kind of like the other one 
the same printing as the other lady and same master as the other lady. Pretty much the same. Nothing really in general to him. And now we're going to switch to the uh, back of it. Now, fire truck, please then move all the way. We have a spinning chair on the second floor, but we should be talking about the bottom floor first. It has a coffee machine, as you can see, a little yellow chair, which I believe is on all the floors except for the top one, and you have a map. If you can't see that, I'll take it out. Pretty cool. Has a fire emergency zone. You, you can see fire hydrants. Very cool. Also, uh, arrow in the middle of the sea for some reason. Probably indicates a ship or something. You have another cup and a computer with some actual buttons. Well, not actual buttons, printed buttons. On there, it's printed buttons as well. And that's kind of like an aeroplane airport. Also, on the third floor, we have a bunk bed. You can actually fit something in there, like a hopper guy or something. Or, so it's happened again. This time he won't wear damage. I'll just leave that. I'll just leave it. It has, on the top floor, some um, bunk beds. You can put the fireman or helicopter guy in there and um, that's really it for the fire station review i hope you enjoyed the video and bye so, oh also subscribe plus like turn on notifications i can't say it properly i'm sorry <laughs> to hit the bell to see when i'm uploading another video so bye